Hi Foundations of Business Analysis students and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to look at data validation with Microsoft Excel. In order to undertake this tutorial I'm going to open up the real estate case study Excel file that's uploaded on the Blackboard site. This file contains data from past sales in the real estate industry across a particular region. The tool we're looking at today is data validation. Data validation is a very easy way that you can automatically identify potential errors in your database, particularly for variables that are measured as categorical variables. What data validation allows you to do is to highlight those variables that fall outside some prescribed range. Therefore, for example, if you've got a variable that is a binary variable, such as a particular survey participant identifies themselves as a male and female, and that's coded as either one or zero, and if one of the items in your database is reported as a 10, you know that that's going to be an error and you want it to be automatically flagged. So what we're going to look at here is data validation with regards to one of the variables in my real estate case study, which is the energy variable. Energy rep represents the type of power used in the oven in the kitchen of the house. So does it use gas energy or electrical energy? This variable is coded using either a one or a two. 1 representing electricity, 2 representing gas. Therefore the only uh, observations that we should observe for this variable are 1's or 2's. So what I want to do, if I scroll down my list first of all, I can see that there does appear as though there may be some errors within this variable. The problem is given there's 1200 observations in total for this particular variable, it's very difficult to manually identify every mistake. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on column F to highlight the variable. Under the data ribbon, I'm going to select data validation. And for this particular variable, I'm going to set a rule where I can only allow that particular variable to be whole numbers between the values of one or two. Click OK. What that's done is now set up that, that rule in place. Now using that rule, if I want to highlight errors in my database, I would go back to data validation click on the bottom right hand corner here and select circle invalid data. Once that loads up we can see as we move down the list any observation that is different from one or two has now got a clear red circle around it highlighting that that value is an error. The last thing I can do is I can use data validation as a measure of preventing errors taking place when you input data. So if I go back to my data validation uh, decision rule and I can set up an error alert and my error alert, I'm going to write error values must be between 1 and 2 and then click OK. I now come back down, I've, so I've now set up an error alert that says if anyone tries to put in a value different from 1 or 2 please flag it as an error. So in cell F2, the first observation for this variable, I'm going to try to put in the number 5. I put in the number 5 and you can see I get this error message that I just created. Error. Values must be between 1 or 2. So it will say I can retry, put in a new, uh, a new value, but it won't let me complete that until I put in a value that is either 1 or 2. So that's data validation with Excel. It's a very helpful tool and particularly it's a way to try to minimise errors when you're recording survey data. Thanks for listening.